Hello, Mr. Fantino. Just to let you know that very soon I will uh, send you a Christmas card in a brown envelope. And in that Christmas card, uh, I will also send you, uh, it's a nice uh, questionnaire called Quality of Life. Uh, you can also call it Laugh About Your Life LOL questionnaire if you want. Uh, and in order to answer that questionnaire, because it's a fun game that I wanted to share with you today. So here's what I suggest you have. So you start, you must have a pen. Okay, you can have two if you feel like you're, uh, you might need one. I would suggest also a glass of wine and the whole bottle for yourself, of course. Um, also, if you can, maybe a bottle of Adivan, really good for anxiety, or Satsvix. Now, this is THC in a bottle, really, you just push it, really nice feeling, that's very helpful. So, because, you know, uh, I feel like as a citizen, uh, I must make sure that uh, you are fit uh, to continue to receive the benefits related to the fact that you are Minister of Veterans Affairs. So I will send you this questionnaire and here are the, the questions that actually my husband and I have to answer. So question one, I can do my usual household activities like prepare meals, do basic household maintenance. Yes, yes would help, no. So. My guess is you can clean your office yourself, you know, after work. We don't need to pay you a house cleaning lady, right? Question two. I can shop and or do errands. Yes. Yes would help. No comments. My guess is you're a very good shopper, uh, but I think you need help on that matter. But that's personal. You, you tell me. Uh, next question. I can drive a vehicle. Now, I hope that we are not paying you a chauffeur, right? Because I'm sure you can drive yourself. You, you can use your, your own car, maybe. Um, but if you can't. Okay, next question. I can use public transportations if available. Yes, yes would help or no. Like, what yes would help would be like uh, if you need your chief of, of staff to actually... Uh, hold your umbrella while you're getting in the bus, that might be considered uh, help needed. Next question. Um, listen to this one. I am able to work in my regular occupation. Indicate retired if applicable. Now, my guess is that you're retired. Why you have to say this there, I don't know. But are you able to work in your regular occupation? You tell us. Um, next question. I can effectively participate in my usual and accustomed recreational and community activities. Yes, yes would help. No comments. Now, in that section, then again, if you need your own staff to push you towards like the veterans in order to meet with them, just indicate it, please, here. Um, also, I am able to maintain my usual day-to-day -day responsibilities, including social outings. Uh, that includes giving medals and uh, attending commemoration ceremonies, of course. Next question. I am able to maintain my personal social relationship, and that includes spouse, family, friends, I know you have a couple of them. They keep uh, unliking my uh, video on YouTube, but they're always the same. So you have at least three friends. That's we know. Colleagues. I don't know. I'd like to ask your colleagues if you are able to maintain your personal and social relationships. Really, that would be interesting. Now, next section. If you have answered no to any of the previous statements, or if you have any additional comments, please provide details. Now, that would include, you know, giving up the medals, maybe your shoulder as a sensibility. You might want to indicate it here, but then again, don't say too much because it really complicates things, right? Next question. Are the changes in your activities due entirely, entirely to your claimed or entitled condition? Yes or no? In case there's a fool in Canada who would say no. Well, he has a next question to answer. If no, please identify and explain how other conditions may be affecting your activities in your daily living. 
Okay, now once you answer the questionnaire, you send it back to me. Okay, but then again, at New Year's Day, I will send you another one. And then you will ask yourself why you have to answer it again. So you will call me and I will tell you that you have another one to answer in order to talk about your shoulder, you know, giving up the medals and shaking hands can be very, maybe your jaw also, do you have a jaw condition? Like, congratulations and thank you for your service. That might be hard here. Anyway, um, so uh, I will send you another one. Uh, then uh, you will call me again and then I will tell you that I lost the questionnaire and I will send you another one also and I will make sure that also uh, at uh, Easter uh, I will send you another one to make sure that you are still fit in order to be a minister of the Veterans Affairs. So uh, this is a party. Now in between the waiting, uh, because this is the part that uh, you will discover, okay, this is when and how the Ativan and the Sativex. Uh, Sativex also uh, seems to be working fine. So you take a lot of those because, of course, uh, uh, you don't know uh, if I will approve this and you don't know when you will have an answer. So uh, hopefully you have fun. Okay, don't forget the wine is necessary. I suggest that you take a good sip before answering each question and remember that if you don't answer correctly, it might affect your services. You have a good day.